right. <clears throat> Love to explore the shore above. I had to warm up my voice just a bit. I don't know what's going on. Hello, testing. All right, you guys, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So I have five more books for you guys that I literally couldn't put down. So here we go. All right, so the first book is Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which is fitting because we're book lovers on this channel. I think I actually pre-ordered this book because I liked Beach Read so much. Um, so I remember when I got it in the mail, I was so excited. I'm a fan of Emily Henry's books. I put Beach Read in my last nine books you need to read video, if you guys haven't watched that. I want to read People We Meet on Vacation, but this is basically about the main character. Her name is Nora Stevens. She's a book agent. She's a literary agent. And she basically goes on this trip. I'm not gonna say what it's for. Um, and she keeps running into a rival of hers, Mr. Charlie Lastra. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. It's obviously so much more, like so much more. Like, I'm not gonna tell you like the point of the trip, who she's on the trip with, um, what the backstory of their rivalry is. This would be such a cute rom-com, like if anyone wants to like, pick this up. I don't know if like book lovers is like the greatest title for like a movie or a show. I will say I don't remember how spicy this book gets so don't get me in trouble okay. But yeah it is 373 pages so a good little chunk of book but highly recommend. If you love romance novels as much as I do it was really cute and I loved it so that is Book Lovers, Emily Henry, 10 out of 10. All right, so this next book came highly recommended from so many of you guys. I've gotten so many messages over the course of months about this book. And then my nail tech, Caroline, was like, you know what book you need to read? Normal People by Sally Rooney. And I was like, you know what? I'm finally gonna read it. And I've had this on my shelf since like March. So, and it's like a smaller book. I don't know why I didn't get around to reading it. Maybe that's why, maybe because it's like, a smaller book that I was like I can read that any any time you know and finish it pretty quickly so I did finish this recently so it's still like pretty fresh in my brain now this is also a series on Hulu which I didn't know and so I definitely binged the whole series after reading this now I will say warning before you read this book it is dark this is a dark read um, not all of it obviously but there are very dark moments in this book so i would definitely read the triggers but this book you guys is incredible like it's just so real like everything she writes in here it's about these two characters connell and marianne and it's over the course of like years and it's just so real i don't know how else to explain it other than that i'm definitely gonna read conversations with friends by sally i think hulu is about to drop the series so I love this book. Okay, all right, so this next book is a random one I picked up at the bookstore because it was like on a table, but it is Riverbend Gap by Denise Hunter. I didn't know this was a series. Um, the next one came out this April, literally last month, so I'm gonna go buy it because I gotta know what happens next. This was so good. Um, I had no idea what it was about. I didn't even read what it was about, and I just went for it, and I'm so happy that I did because it was so good now this is a romance novel so obviously i loved it it's about this girl caitlin she moves to riverbend gap um she has a secret as to why she moved here which you guys will find out in the book now i don't want to say who she meets how she meets him or anything like that because i want you guys to have that like you know that oh my gosh moment like i did but this book is scandalous there is a scandal um and yeah, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it if you love romance novels and a little bit of drama, okay? But yeah, that is Riverbend Gap. Highly recommend. Now this next book I got at the library with my new library card. But this is The Dinner List by Rebecca Searle. Searle. Now this isn't the copy I rented from the library, but after I finished reading it, I, I bought my own so now what's funny about this is i picked this up at the library because i liked the cover and i saw miss audrey hepburn and then when i got home i realized 
that it's the same author as In Five Years, which I've recommended to you guys on my other channel. So this is the dinner list. Now this was such an interesting concept for a book, but basically like we've all been asked if we could have dinner with five people, dead or alive, who would those people be? And she shows up to her birthday dinner and it is those five people um, that she has on her list, which is Audrey, obviously, and some other people, which I'm not going to ruin for you guys. I did not see the twist in this book coming at all. I will say I cried so hard, you guys. I called Crawford bawling my eyes out. I don't know why it hit. I was just like, maybe I was just going through that night. I don't know, but I cried so hard and I called Crawford and I was just like asking him a million questions and I was like, and he was like, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm like, but like, no, no, no. He's like, it's okay, it's okay. I wish I could tell you exactly like what I asked him, but it would spoil the book. So I can't, I can't tell you, but yeah, I really love this. It was so interesting. It goes back and forth between um, the dinner and obviously like some backstory so you guys understand like why each of those people are sitting at that table So yeah, I highly recommend you will need a box of tissues if you are a crier like me You will need a box of tissues for this book, but it was so good it was So good now last but not least this next book Now I've had it for a couple of months. It is on the bigger side of books So I knew it was gonna take me a little longer to read so I've been putting it off but I finally read it. I was seeing it everywhere. Now this might be my favorite book of all time now, other than like the Harry Potter series because, okay. But it is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. If you've read this, you understand my obsession, at least I hope so, because this was so good. I could not put it down. It's obviously about Miss Addie LaRue. You know, she makes a deal. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I know that like, <laughs> that gives you nothing, but it's so hard with this. Like, I really want people to thoroughly enjoy this and have all the oh my God moments in this book without me saying like, oh, she did this and then this and then this. Like, it, I was hooked. Like. It's such a good book. I give this book like a 20 out of 10. Now I know not every book is like for everyone, but like I've seen comments online that people did not like this and I'm like, how? I already begged Netflix on Instagram to turn this into a series or a movie. Now it is a thick book. It is 442 pages. But yeah, that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by P.E. Schwab. Schwab. So yeah, guys, that was five books you need to read. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below any book recommendations. You guys gave me so many in my last video and I bought a bunch of new books. So hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I love ya. We're doing great. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.